In this lesson on rigging, I'll look at adding controls and rigging a robot arm here. I've modeled the arm and made sure all the pieces are separate. In rigs, the general rule is we want to look at pivots, parents, IKs, and constraints. In that order. We may not use all those things on every rig, but that's the order we want to do and make sure we test things along the way before the rig gets too complex. For this arm, the first thing I'll do is get the pivots in place. If I look in the outliner, pressing spacebar for the hotbox and choosing window, outliner, there are four small pins and two large ones. I'll select them all and under modify choose center pivot. It's important to have the pivot centered on these pins as they ride in the center of the arm. Now I can look at parents. What I want to do is parent upstream, picking child and then parent. I'll pick the upper arm, hold shift and pick its pin and press P on the keyboard. Now the upper pin is the parent of the arm. If I rotate the pin, we can see the arm goes with. I'll repeat the process parenting along the way, selecting the pin and parenting it to the lower arm by pressing P. The lower arm will then be parented to the lower pin, and the lower pin will be parented to the base, and the base will then be parented to the base plate. Here's the test, and always test along the way with a rig. Can't stress that one enough. If I grab the base plate and rotate it, the arm rotates as a static. If I grab the upper arm and rotate it, all of its children go with it. Now I haven't dealt with the pistons yet, but this is working nicely. For the pistons, each one has a housing and a shaft. What I'll start out with is parenting the piston housing onto the pin. and then parenting the pin onto the base. Whatever is selected in green will be the parent. Here's the shaft parented to the pin, the pin parented to the base, and the base parented to the upper arm. Here's this base parented to the end. Okay, quick test. I pick the arm, I hit E for rotate, and wait, the pivot's in the wrong place. To move a pivot in Maya, we can hold V to snap and D to move the pivot. I'll press D and V and snap this pivot on one axis at a time onto the pin. I'll check in a front view as well, or a side view, and make sure this is in the right place. in a side view, pressing and holding V and D, and moving on one axis at a time, snapping up to the center of the pin, and now on the Z axis, snapping to the center. I had already centered this pivot on the arm, and so I didn't want to disturb it on the X axis. Now I'll test. If I select the pin, and I rotate it, the arm and its hydraulics go with. If I select the arm and rotate it, the hydraulics go with it correctly. To avoid a dependency loop, or a circular reasoning, if we think of it that way, in the constraints, I've added pin objects plus the pistons themselves. Here's how this will work. To add the constraints onto the piston, so they look at each other when the arm opens up, I'll pick the pin for the housing, and then hold shift and pick the pin for the shaft. Because these have different parents, I won't get a loop. On the animation menu, pressing F2 to get to it if needed, I'll go to Constrain and Aim. And for the first one, I'll use the dialog next to Aim. In the Aim Constraint, I want to check Maintain Offset. Alternately, I could figure out which axis it's going to work on and make sure it goes in the right direction. I'll add the constraint on. Here's the test. If I pick the arm, we see that the shaft is in purple. There's a constraint on it. Then as I rotate the arm down, the piston shaft faces to its pin. Here's the other constraint then. I'll pick that pin that controls the piston shaft, hold shift, 
and pick the pin of the piston housing. Again, I'll choose Constrain, Aim. I'll select the hinge, which controls the upper arm, rotate it down, and the piston opens automatically. We can bring a mechanical rig to life with constraints and rigs like this fairly easily. I'll finish this out with the other piston and show the result when it's done. I'll select the piston housing and then hold shift and select the pin that controls that piston, pressing P to parent. I'll repeat this with the piston shaft and the other pin. I'll make sure that the plates that hold the pistons are parented up to their correct arms. And in this case, the plate on the lower piston goes to the base. OK, ready for the constraints. I'll select the pin for the piston housing, hold shift and pick the pin for the piston shaft. Under constraint, I'll choose aim. I've already set the initial offset. I'll repeat the process from the shaft over to the pin for the housing. And it looks like I'm all set. Here's the test. I'll pick the hinges and rotate them. If I rotate the lower arm, the piston almost works. Looks like I forgot to parent it. I'll select the pin that controls the piston shaft and pick the base plate and press P. Now it's part of the hierarchy. When I select the hinge pin at the end of the lower arm and rotate on the x-axis, the arm rises up and the piston opens up automatically. I'll select the hinge pin at the end of the upper arm as well and open that and the other piston works nicely too. I can put controllers, NURB circles or similar objects on this and include them in the parent chain if needed or just freeze everything but those two objects for animation.